That's right. The prohibition of drugs has contributed the greatest number so, so. of prisoners to the prison industrial complex in this country. I began as a drug warrior in the early 70s. I was there. I led the Los Angeles Police Department's enforcement effort against narcotics when President Nixon announced the war on drugs in 1972. I was there. I implemented in Los Angeles. <clears throat> I did my job and I came to see that the war on drugs is a total and complete failure. When we first started, we had the emergence of a small gang, two small gangs in South Central Los Angeles. Their membership was less than 100. They were called the Crips and the Bloods. The drug war, the money that fueled the cartels, the spread of drugs across this country, those two gangs have now spread across the country and have evolved into a total of 33,000 gangs with a total membership of 1,500,000. And most of the reason is the drug war that has caused that. The population of our prisons and the building of our prisons is because of the drug war. In the last few years in Los Angeles, in, in uh, California, we've built like five prisons. We've hired 7,000 prison guards and we've fired 5,000 teachers because we don't have the money to pay for them because we want to spend $2.66 billion just in Los Angeles County to build more prisons. Ooh. I tell you today that the third rail that the politicians and law enforcement are afraid to touch, the third rail called drug policy, we have pulled the circuit. We have cut off their, their power. The, the third rail is dead because three out of four people in this country believe that the war on drugs is a complete failure. 55% of the people in the West believe that marijuana should be completely and totally legalized. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a new train on the tracks, ladies and gentlemen and it's called In the War on Drugs. And there's an initiative in California now called Regulate Marijuana Like Wine. And I hope every one of you sign the petition. I hope you go to their website and donate and help and volunteer. And let's change the way things are going in this country. Yeah. Yeah.